After a school year of learning from home, many students falling behind and now need to go to summer school to catch up. Local 10's Hatzel Vela is live with details on a program to help those kids get back on track. Hatzel. So, Louis, this is one of many summer camps throughout Miami-Dade, as well as Broward County, hosted by FIU, this one at least. And it also focuses on STEM. But this year, they're also trying to make sure kids, as you mentioned, get back on track. Right now, they're just coding robots. Called the Verizon Innovative Learning Program. We do robotics. 3D printing, programming. It's a free, month-long, extensive STEM program for about 100 kids. So they're working on getting these uh, rovers coded to autonomously navigate around an obstacle course. Most of them hail from Carroll City, West Miami, and Andover Middle Schools. Because of the pandemic, for many of these bright kids, this is the first in-classroom experience in a while. It feels are. very good because to me, I miss the interactions that I could have in person with other people. Alex Nottage is one of the youngest who at 10 knows he wants to play sports and be an engineer. This would help me a lot with my engineering and my programming. That, to me, that's basically why my, me and my dad agreed to go here because I want to learn how to program and make my own stuff. The lack of person-to-person -person interaction, the online learning, is arguably responsible for what many are calling the COVID gap, a pandemic-related academic setback for even the smartest kids like those in this group. They made it! Woo! Look at that! Yeah! So this is kind of like an introduction to the kind of things that they're going to want to be doing, not just in high school, but in college. Yes, automation has taken over our world. Robots are replacing humans. But this math and science teacher says we need the younger generation to learn how to make it all run. At the end of the day, there's still got to be a human behind the robot helping guide its part. So again, this is a free program like many others out there. If you want any information on this program and others, you can go to local10.com. For now, reporting live from North Miami, I'm Hatsovala, Local 10 News.